Well, when I, when I set off to, to create this film, actually, I wasn't having uh, in mind, well, I did have in mind, but I wasn't planning on making this film anything religious in any way, like, um, like I think Haru mentioned, anything political or religious, but I had in mind that people would take it in that way and, and find what they found in their hearts to be the message of the film. Uh, so it's, you know, it's very well received, obviously, uh, among Catholics, uh, Christian communities, uh, because they see the, the image of Christ in it. And that's great. I, I feel honored. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's being received very well on, on people that know about voodoo. And, you know, and it's, it's such an archetypal thing, uh, uh, the, the idea of self-sacrifice you can find in, in any religion, any culture, anything. Uh, that I think that's that's a good thing for us to to always try to to go for that to tap into that power of, of things that are common uh, with all of us. Well, there's too many facets of voodoo religion. That's that's one of the main things uh, that I found out. Uh, I didn't know much about it. I just knew what what you would see in movies, which is not really the the reality of it. Um, I learned of the different deities. I learned of uh, the different types of cultures and rituals involved. Uh, the traditional thing that one thinks of voodoo about pinning voodoo dolls is actually not uh, you know not something traditional at all it's uh, just a rec recreation from Hollywood and uh, the voodoo dolls originally were supposed to be healing devices but at the same time it's um, you know th those things evolve into an archetype sort of so uh, at some point they, they gain a life on the of their own and I, I don't feel guilty at all about using that idea even though I know it's not true I uh, actually consulted with uh, some voodoo priests that uh, I found their emails, uh, wrote to s different voodoo groups, and they liked the idea. They didn't. They said that they wouldn't feel insulted by a film like this. They've seen it all before. It's you know, as long as the film is good and it tries to tell a good story and it has a message, it it doesn't matter if you go and you know go a little f bit away from what the original traditional voodoo is. is. I think as a filmmaker, I I like to focus on a specific. Uh, culture group or uh, folklore uh, because it's easier that way you you narrow your view down to something that will make you be able to you know uh, you know how do you design the set how do you design the textures the colors um, then you know if you have a, a base cultural motif then you are it's it's so much easier for you you can take from that just grab a couple books look into patterns and textures scan those and put them in the computer uh, it's all there for you. You don't need to really make anything completely out of your mind. The idea is in your mind, but everything else can be taken away from different sources. I, I love films with with a, th uh, a message and um, that try to tell something more than just entertain. And I, f I feel like my two films so far have definitely tapped on that, so it was a good place for them.